Hi, I'm Chris from Simply Be and I wanted to talk to you about some strategies for um, helping us to cope when other people's behaviour is affecting our mental and physical well-being. Um, there are two main ways in which other people can impact on um, our well-being. The first one being through their energy and I'm sure everyone's had an experience where someone walks in a room, lights it up, uh, fills the, the, the room with joy and that's a lovely experience. By the same token, there's those people that can come into a room and literally drain the energy from the room. They're so negative um, and their energy just sucks uh, the will to live out of everybody. So, and the second way is in the actions that they do, in the way that they behave. So the first one's quite simple to remedy. Either we avoid that person or we try to minimise the time that we spend with them. Or we can imagine ourselves in a pink bubble um, with a little hole at the top just to let energy in so that we don't drain ourselves of energy and we can use that protective bubble to kind of bounce back the energy that we're receiving that we're not happy with um, and of course because it's a pink bubble that's the colour of love um, so what we're doing is we're, trans we're transforming the energy that's coming towards us and we're sending it back out into the universe in a more positive way. Um, <clears throat> as far as their behaviour goes that kind of comes down to being honest about the person that we're dealing with so um, for an example, you may have someone that, uh, we'll use a boss analogy. So someone that you work with is really easy to work with. They share information, the records are kept clear, uh, and you're happy in your work with them. Uh, they leave, someone else comes in and it's not the same relationship and maybe information isn't passed and their work is a bit chaotic and you end up having to stop what you're doing to help them with what they're doing. And that becomes uh, frustrating after a while. So normally what would happen is we would end up getting wound up and we would go home being frustrated and potentially uh, feeling stressed out and maybe even uh, getting physically ill. So one way that we can deal with it is to look at the person that we're actually dealing with and instead of expecting them to behave in the way that we would like them to behave, we have to look at what they're actually capable of. You know, are we being realistic in our expectations of who they are and what they're capable of as a person? So if they're just not the kind of person that has uh, the brain that is wired to be organised or is good at communicating or is interested in in how they impact on other people, then for us to keep expecting them to do that... Um, it's only going to upset us. It is literally like us taking poison and expecting something to happen to them. It's not going to happen. The way that they're behaving works for them. The way that they're behaving is what they're used to and they probably don't want to change. So that means the only thing that we can do in that situation is change us, change how we uh, are feeling towards them, change our expectations of what they can do so that we don't get frustrated and angry. So... When you've done that, you can then start to come up with coping strategies to get you through. So firstly, you've lowered your expectation or changed your expectation of that person and what they're capable of. And then it's about coming up with strategies to make uh, the situation more bearable when you're having to deal with it. So, for example, to go back to the workplace analogy, if that's happening, then uh, you can start to allow more time in your day to pick up the strain or the slack where it needs to be done. Or maybe if um, they're coming in and saying to you, oh, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. You can turn around and say, yep, happy to do that. Um, but I had this, this and this plan today. What do you want me to drop so that I can help you? And instead of you then being frustrated because you're feeling undervalued or you're feeling uh, under pressure um, and you're getting stressed and irritated, you're now controlling the situation. You're, you're changing from a reaction to a responding mindset. And that in itself is empowering and gives you the opportunity to take control of a situation and move forward so that it doesn't impact on your physical and mental well-being. Um, I really hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. I'd love to uh, talk to everybody. Um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.